with yummy life with Irene welcome back again to another very interesting video and my people we are still continuing with the G series today is those good days that you just stay at home you enjoy you know you do self-care uh, I had just finished making dinner for my girls and uh, and my people I told you this is a staple in my house so I've just made shawarma for my girls for dinner and they have told me that I haven't made this juice for a long time. I decided why not. So guys, today's juice is hibiscus juice and I'm going to show you how to make the juice and also make the hibiscus tea. So guys, here are the ingredients of the day. Say hi. <laughs> She's just a cartoon, this one. We are going to need like quarter a kilo of hibiscus flowers. These ones I've already sorted them and I like storing them sorted. We're going to do two jars, one for the juice and one for the tea. Then we are going to do two lemons or limes, a thumb size of ginger, and definitely some sugar. If you don't want to do sugar, this tea goes very well with honey. So my people, let us do this. To start with, we are going to steam all our teas, and that is why I'm doing it at night. So I'm just going to get a hand size like this because I think I'm the only one who's going to take the tea. The rest are for the juice. And I'm going to steep it with 500 ml of boiling water. And to this, I am going just to cut my ginger. And I'm not peeling it because once I bring ginger to the house, we usually soak it so that it gets rid of the soil. Then after that, I wash it with white vinegar. And once they have dried on top of a kitchen towel, they are able to put them in the fridge. So we are just going to cover this. You can see my hibiscus flowers immediately have started to steep. Now in my big jar, we are going to steep all this like three handfuls of hibiscus flowers. Then we are going to put so this is our sixth half liter cup. That is good. So I like placing my jar on top of a wet cloth and just covering it, not closing it, just covering it so that it steeps very, very well. So we'll keep this aside also on the counter and this I'll show you in the morning. Good night, guys. Good morning, my people. How are you? I hope you had a beautiful night like me. And I thank God for this bright, beautiful day he has given us. So my people, I want us to finish on our juice. And as I'm doing that, I've just remembered, and it is my daughter who has made me remember. Uh, you know the video that I did for hair growth? Yes. Look at my hair, my people. Yes, this is not a wig. See? This is my hair. It is still growing. So go ahead. If you haven't watched that video, go and check. 
the one ingredient video for hair growth and it works wonders and it smells nice you should smell my hair right now and guys let me wash my hands so that we can continue with our hibiscus juice so guys clean hands always when you're working with food let us finish up with our juice so guys here is our hibiscus juice it has been steeping now for over 14 hours and now we want to sieve it look at that color guys I want to test my juice so that I know how potent it is and what amount of water I'm adding and also sugar to sweeten it up. Look at that. Mm. It's quite tangy. But first we are going to make our sugar syrup and we're going to take a saucepan. We are going to do like one cup of sugar, so that is half a cup, one cup of sugar, and to this one cup of sugar, we are going to add one cup, half a liter that is, of boiling water. And we are going to start this. Then you take our juice and pour in our sugar. So we test this and see how sweet it is the sugar is just perfect because the hibiscus is a bit tangy the sugar is perfect but we also want to add more flavor to this and how we are going to add our flavor to squeeze in two lemons and that juice will take this juice into another level In your clean fridge, put this and it will help your fridge stay fresh for a long, long time. We mix our juice. I love the color. Hibiscus is very, very good. So let's test this too. Whoa, perfect, perfect. So using a funnel and a five liter bottle, this is the way I'm going to store my juice in the fridge. So I lift my funnel just a bit so that air escapes quite fast. goes our juice so you see a small amount of hibiscus that hibiscus i bought it at a hundred shillings at moha's place in Italy. and you see the amount of juice it has given me 
So we keep a juice aside with my same saucepan, the one that I stirred in my sugar. We are going to sieve my hibiscus tea now. The one that we had put even the ginger. So we get rid of this. We taste our tea now. Whoa. It's quite, quite potent. Half a cup of boiling water. And I'm the only one who takes this tea in the house. So I'll just toss some in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The ginger is quite kicking. We are going to store our tea in a different bottle. That way they can be able to differentiate it in the fridge. Wow. So look at that, my people. We have our juice and my tea. My people, let us serve our juice. I'm serving it with two big ice cubes and also our tea. So the tea, I don't add anything. I only take half a cup like that. And the hibiscus, there's somebody waiting for it here. So here goes our hibiscus. So I keep this aside. I also keep this aside to cool down a bit so that it gets cold and ready to go to the fridge. So here is our juice. And here is our tea. So let me garnish it with a lemon slice like that. So guys, here is our hibiscus tea. Just great on an empty stomach in the morning. 30 minutes before you take your breakfast, take the hibiscus tea. You will thank me later. Uh, check and see the benefits of hibiscus and you will know why it is an important drink to take. Here goes our hibiscus juice. The ice cubes have made it quite cool and very, very nice and refreshing. Just wonderful. So guys, go ahead, try these recipes. You will love them. And I want to say thank you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a like to this video. I want to wish you a very, very productive week. And my people, thank you for always being with me. Love from my house. See you next week. Bye, guys.